Hey, it's Rachel here. I have had a couple of requests to do a tutorial on that cut up tank top that I posted, I think yesterday or the, a couple days ago. I do this a lot and I'll show you what I'm wearing now um, somehow. So I, I don't know how to do this well, this tutorial stuff, this videoing stuff. I don't edit videos. I don't know how to splice things. So <laughs> just bear with me. Um, okay, so right now I'm wearing my Love God, Get Healthy, Be Whole to Love Others, my one of my fav favorite, favorite tank tops. Notice it is cut just um, horizontally, okay? But I will show you how we get that. And then what I did the other day with um, the tank top, let me put this back down again. I don't have a plan for this. I just have a few minutes to show you. Okay, so I'm showing you a green tank top. Same si same thing as the pink one that I'm gonna cut up. So here's a $1, and why I say $1? Well, one, it was $1, but um, they might be three bucks. They're on sale, it's not summer anymore. And um, so look for the ribbed. I think the ribbed works best. You can do any any tank top. But I think that the rib works best because it's just got some give to it. And um, yeah, it kind of bounces back once it gets stretched out. Um, so here we go. And um, what you're going to do is you're going to take that basic tank top. We're talking, and this can be any tank top. This can be something that you have that like, like has a saying on it that you want to just schnazz it up a little bit. If that's a technical term in the fashion world, schnazz. Um, so here's your tank top. You're going to fold it in half this way, as in, um, I don't have directional cues for this, but uh, it's folded in half. This is the back of the tank top, okay? Folded lengthwise, I would call it maybe, okay? So now I'm gonna switch to the pink one that's already laid out on the floor, and hopefully this works. I'm leaning you on a table tippity tip. That's pretty good, right? Okay. So here we go. What you're going to do, super simp, is cut slits about, hey, about uh, an inch or so uh, in width. So I start up here. This is just this kind. I mean, you could start anywhere if you want, but I started here with this one I did the other day. And if I knew how to do what I'm doing, meaning these video things, you, you don't see that slip, but that's okay. Um, you know how you will watch some of these tutorial videos and they'll speed up and they'll, you know, get going quick and like probably have some background music. Um, I'm not there yet. So you're going to have to sit with me and cut these with me. I uh, teach in about an hour and a half. My first class at the new church which is called Dream City Church here in Glendale, Arizona and um, I had started at this church teaching in January it, it changed churches though it used to be called Community Church of Joy so I'm just going to tell you a story while we get we do this um, and so yeah faith and fitness has been uh, on my radar since 2011 um, and actually yeah about 2011 and uh, honestly it's been a huge waiting game for the most part that um, that God's had me go through a lot of preparation a lot of um, oh, his timing and uh, so Again, I'm just cutting inch and a half, inch slits. They don't even have to be the same. It's, this is nothing perfect. I'm cutting a straight line, okay? Straight line. Um, so we, uh, God called us to this property or said, this is where you're supposed to be. So Joel and I moved across from city to city to get to this church, which was Community Church of Joy. Um, I was not thrilled at first uh, that he had called us, you know, to a, a specific church and because um, it wasn't just, it, it didn't have a feel that I was um, used to, I guess. I'm going to put it that way. And um, 
so lo and behold, I start classes, which was a just a, a nice um, transition, and they were so welcoming for me to come in and do my thing, and that was my that's my gifting in an area, and amongst these little crafts is clearly a gifting, I guess. Um, so, uh, so I started classes, and then in January of this year, and um, the church changed over. To a new church and so I had to pull back and um, wait again so today is the first day that I'm gonna be back uh, as like a preview class for um, what could be um, what I believe will be in the future so I'm excited and uh, my beautiful friend Trisha is coming to do some modifications so here we have the slits what I want to make sure right now is that um, there is an actually one two three an odd number in the sense of I'm going to pair up three of these three of these slits. I'm going to pair them up in one of those little bow tie looking things. So I want to make sure I go three, 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 three. And then I'm going to try and get, oof -da. We'll see what happens here. Two. My last one turned out really nice. But notice I don't have a plan, a specific, like I don't really know. What I'm doing here. And maybe I'm gonna have to gather four in a couple areas. We'll see. Yep, we're gonna do that. All right, so I have my slits. If anyone's bored yet, sorry. <laughs> you asked for this and this is just the way it's going. Um, all right, so remember, $1 tank top, no biggie. Oh, I am missing something. Okay, so we got a one. We got all of our slits, right? Here they are. Ta-da. So what I'm going to do now is um, set you down. You're going to sit with me here on my floor and check it out. Here is the slitted tank top. Notice that's what this is, okay? Nothing else happened to this. But here's something because this is so old, this tank top so old and stretched out, I had to make even a little tail. Like I just did a little knot because it just got so stretched out. So this would happen if we didn't take it any further. Here's the tank top. I'm laying it on the ground. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do now. I'm guessing that I would normally wear black with pink more than white. Why do I say that? Because you're going to come with me into my messy bathroom. I don't even know if I cleaned up. Nope, I didn't. So, um, in my bag, what I'm going to grab, this is just, now, you can use um, thread. Would probably be best. Would be fine. But see these little um, uh, rubber bands? Teeny little rubber bands that you put use for your hair? I, I never had braces, but I think they're the kind that people use with their braces. Um, I don't know. You could use those. Grab some from your kid if you have kids with braces. Um, so what I do with these little knobbers, okay, is, let me sit you down here again. Oh my gosh, this is too long. Um, so cut it in half, right? No big deal. Um, and you're going to take three or four. I got to count here. I think I got to do one, two, three. One, two, three. I wanted to do three a piece. This bottom one, I am going to end up having two. Okay? Just is what it is. So what I just did, right there, I just gathered, 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 gathered two. I'd like that to be three, but oh well. So now I take my little... Um, cut up rubber band. What I noticed in this last one that I did is I straddled my tank top so I, I had a good pull to it and to make them even right down the right down the gutter here. Um, so all I did, all I do is tie a little knot cinching these three pieces together. Okay. Um, I haven't noticed that they've ever broken free or like, um, and even if they did, so tie it back up. Um, but I've never noticed that it was a problem, like washing machine, dryer, all that kind of stuff. Um, 
I've done this once with a black tank top using these rubber bands. Um, I think that it's because I didn't, I don't know why. Thread would be fine. Uh, the other thing is what could look cute too is I thought um, yarn. You know how you have different colors of yarn? So this could be a pink tank top with say you had an outfit or you had a skirt or you had some um, pants that had say yellow in it. You could do yellow thread or not thread but um, yarn to make a little bit of a accent color in there. You could do anything and sky's the limit. Okay, so I'm just going to show you the last two um, because this is such a long video and I, you know, this is what it is. Right there. So when I get this on, I'll take a picture and add it to the comments, okay? Add it to the comments of this video. Sweet. Okay, thank you for spending some time in your morning or afternoon or whenever you watch this. God bless.